हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दल्टरनेटिव इंग्लिश क्लास टूडे वी शैल डिस्कस हारोल्ड निकोलसन एस ए आन एजुकेटेड पर्सन इन दिस एस ए दि रईटर टक्स अबाउट व्हाट ही मीन्स बाय आन एजुकेटेड पर्सन He explains who qualifies the phrase "I quote an educated person" on quote. Who are educated according to him, and who are not educated? One day, the writer receives a letter from an anonymous reader, from an unknown reader, and the reader requests him. to explain what he means by an educated person in his writings harold nicolson was an essayist and his essays were published in many magazines and newspapers of the time the reader didn't write the context in which the writer had used this phrase so immediately nicolson finds himself in a lot of trouble because he had used this phrase many times and unless he knew exactly where and how or in what sense he has used this term it was not possible to explain it correctly the writer says that he might have used the phrase to refer to the rich the rich classes of the society he might have also used the phrase to refer to the upper and upper middle classes of people so he he tries to he tries to guess in which particular sense he might have used it then it comes to his mind that on certain other occasions he had used it to refer to a certain level of education what level of education he meant by or he wanted to he wanted to have in this educated people nicolson says i exclude the following people from the list of educated persons Now, by educated persons, I don't mean these people. They should not be there. Who should not be there? One, those people with lower levels of schooling, and somebody who has passed class five or six or seven, somebody who can read and write a little bit of English, or somebody who can do simple sums in arithmetic. or those who possess an average school certificate knowledge in history and geography you know these people they are not included in the list of educated persons not only that he also says that in my list of educated persons i don't include the specialists specialists like lepidotherists lepidotherists are those people who study butterflies and moths and their characteristics their behavior and the conchologists who are conchologists those people who study shells and all those whose knowledge is very sound but is limited to a particular field only so suppose somebody is a specialist obviously he has deeper knowledge in a particular area but his knowledge is limited nicolson says a person whose knowledge is limited to a particular field cannot be branded as an educated person and he also says those people who didn't have any special interest in education but by chance they became educated they can't also be grouped under you know this phrase educated people 
so then he says to what type of people this this phrase might be applied he says this phrase might be applied to a person if who may have average intelligence application or memory but who has devoted several years of his life or her life to the acquisition of general knowledge let us try to understand this one he says if a person has average intelligence he is not extremely intelligent he doesn't have he doesn't possess extraordinary or brilliant memory it's absolutely fine there is nothing wrong with that but that person to be called an educated person must have devoted must have given several years of his life to the acquisition of general knowledge so here he tells here he talks about two things one is several years of his or her life and the second one is acquisition of general knowledge so next he goes on to explain what he means by several years several years how many years does he mean by the term several years the writer says by several years i don't refer to the age between 5 and 14 years or 5 and 21 5 is when you start your education 14 is when you pass your class 10 examination your high school certificate examination so writer says no no i don't mean these 9 or 10 years or i don't mean the age between 5 and 21 till you pass your plus 3 or undergraduate your graduation he says no no i don't mean these two things by that according to him education is something that is a lifelong process there is absolutely no end to that a person who stops to educate himself at any age cannot be branded as an educated person so who can be an educated person according to him this expression can be applied to those who continue to learn and learn until they are nailed to their coffins when somebody is nailed to the coffins when he dies so he says that a person can be branded as an educated person if he continues to acquire education till the last moment of his life every day my dear friends teaches us something new every day we can have some different experiences every day of we we learn something of our life we learn something so our education continues till we die so he says uh, nicolson says that the person who learns till the moment he dies can be called an educated person